And we're back with more projects on Boyd Trailer Trash. Oh, when that dummy... When that dummy appeared, I... I jumped a little. Okay, we've just messed around with our sandbox settings because I did want to finally get in there and adjust the solar efficiency. So I'm going to be a little bit more paranoid than normal, just in case I've, you know, somehow reloaded the cell with zombies. So we're going to do a quick sweep of the base, just to make sure we don't have a handful of zombies respawned in rooms or, or outside. Actually, let's check our solar power first, because I do want to make sure the power stays on while we're walking around the base. I do still want to get around to work in this room some more. Maybe I'll move that up the to-do list. Okay, so... Panel status, not enough panel. So, it seems like now that we've dropped the efficiency of the panels down to, I think, something like 12%, we, we no longer have enough, even in the middle of the day, to power all the things we have powered. I'm going to try resetting it just in case. Okay, so now I've got zero connected panels, so we're going to have to head outside and, and clip all these things back together. So I think I figured out the number next to these panels when you go to connect them. Like, connect... Yeah, I, I think that's a grid reference to where the panel is in regards to where the, the battery bank is, but it's not particularly important. Okay, so now that we've set these panels down to 12% efficiency, we're going to need to find a whole bunch more of them. From what I understand, that means searching warehouses and storage facilities, which is, um, you know, we can put it on the to-do list, but it's not like we just want to drive around the state visiting one after another after another. We do have other things to do. So we're going to be using a bit more gas to power the base for a while. Now, our electrical skill is not high enough yet to make this uh, solar failsafe. I believe the idea of that is when your solar grid runs out, it automatically turns your generator on. Uh, that sounds good, so we should probably find some things around here to disassemble and get the last, I don't know, 100 or so points we need in electrical. While we're up here, let's actually have a look at what the generator is powering. I think I've got it hidden behind this hedge. Yep. Okay, so we've got one steel fridge and we've got 39 lights running. That's a lot of lights. That is, um, that's more than half a fridge worth of lights. And if I ever want to power that, uh, sort of double freezer, that's a lot. I guess I could maybe try turning off some of the lights. We don't need them all on all the time, but we do need them for, you know, light. Well, while a solar battery has got charge in it, let's try to turn that back on. Actually, what is our electrical level? I'm pretty sure it's close, but is it close or is it really close? Okay, it's really close, yeah. We can probably go find a hand torch or a couple of things to disenchant and get that up. Uh, so let's turn the gas back on while we go do that because it might may take us a while to just find these things in boxes around the base okay so we found an extractor hood that we didn't want to use in the kitchen and it is electrical so let's I don't really think I want this this wardrobe to go anywhere it's so if I put it here I'm gonna have to move that light Oh, and they really do block line of sight quite, quite well. Okay, there we go. Level 6 electrical. That's probably about the highest I've ever had electrical in a run. And this will be the last time, or one of the last times, we make use of our fast reader trait.
Okay, so let's have a look at what materials we need. So we want to create a solar failsafe, and the big thing it needs is a version 3 remote controller. So that's what's been stymieing us up until this point. We found a version 1, I don't know if you can just find a version 3, but that's the version 3 that requires, I think, 6 electrical. There we go, version 3 remote controller, yep, 6 of 6 electrical. So it needs a TV remote, that can be very hard to find if you don't have a couple. And we need glue. Do I have any glue? I've got a bunch of wood glue all over the place, but normal glue, I tend to look at it and go, ew. Okay, this could be a problem. Um, I'm certainly not storing glue anywhere, so like, if it's here, it'll just be in one of the um, trashy overflow containers. Pretty sure these trucks are empty. Okay, so let's check out these containers. So I carry, oh, I can't carry, I, I collect duct tape, but I don't tend to collect tape. And I collect wood glue, but I don't tend to collect glue. Even screws are very rarely used. Oh, this is all my car stuff over here. my tailoring stuff. Uh, okay, so we do have uh, remote controls on here. Yeah, two TV remotes, but no glue. This could be a problem. I mean, this just means we probably had some glue and we probably left it at our last base figuring uh, this isn't very important. If that means we have to go all the way back to Muldrow just to get a frickin' glue stick? That's gonna be really annoying. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, we do need that car battery for, um, for the failsafe. We also don't have a lot of electrical wiring, so we need to get back to, I don't know, ripping out radios from cars and things like that, whatever it takes to get some electrical wiring. Again, one of those things that for most of the game you don't use, as soon as you decide to sit down and craft 50 lights, um, suddenly you use a lot of it. Yeah, no glue. Try this box. We've been dumping all sorts of things in this crate. Uh, no. See, adhesive tape is even something we don't normally carry. Okay, so a glue stick is one of those things where we might have left one at the general store, we might have left one in the fishing store. It just, we, we would ignore it if we see it for the most part. So, um, we could just start searching again, but we should at least do this in an organized fashion. Uh, now, we did these containers, so I'll cross all these off, and I'm, I'm pretty sure there's no glue sticks there. Uh, we did leave one one spot unsearched because there were a zombie or two in there and there's a room in the other building we didn't search that I've noticed since since looking at that we also could have got in trouble because I didn't realize that room sort of links outside the storage facility to inside the storage facility so I was thinking of barricading across that entrance and I'd have actually left a, um, a back route in there that would have been a problem Now, given how infested this area still is, I was actually thinking of dragging one of those um, emergency vehicles we found. Well, not emergency vehicles. One of those vehicles with a light bar we found at the country club. Dragging it here and uh, sort of setting it up, trying to lure everything in from the, uh, the trailer park factory and uh, then shotgunning the crap out of them from behind the safety of the chain link fence. Back to our current problem though, the most reliable way of getting a glue stick I think would be to go back to our old base or down to the school in Muldra. I, I think it was that building. 
one of those two are bound to have a glue stick. Because it can get real noisy out here. So I don't feel like taking a trip to Muldra today. Um, we've got all this supplies we brought back with us from the storage facility, so let's let's use them. I reckon we can get this entire top base, uh, top floor, bleached and plastered. So let's just see what needs work. These are all actually looking pretty good. It's just there are some hidden cracks around the place. Now, yeah, this needs a lot of work, of course. Let's start with the security room. It's one of the nice rooms we've got that's still dirty as hell. Now, maybe the grungy look does add something, but no, we want to go for pristine. Yeah, I've got enough bleach that I'm going to take out some of these floor sections, even if you can't really see the dirt. We would know it's there. Okay. Now, we don't quite have plans for this room yet. Um, but, yeah, let's start cleaning. Floor looks a lot nicer when it's clean. Damn, how am I going to get to those wall segments? Am I going to have to build across there, or... I mean, I could always smash them out, but... Well, like, smash out from the other side, but... Uh, I don't know. I'll think about it. So we do have a mod to fix those little cracks in the floor, but it doesn't fix these huge uh, gaping, gaping holes. I think I'll focus on getting as many of the walls done as possible because they're the most visual uh, reminder of how dirty the place is. If erosion actually just made the walls dirty after a certain period of time, they'd definitely have to let you do this with just water or, um, or let bleach go a much, much further. Okay, everybody. I'm going to leave it here. We're going to head out and find a single glue stick in our next episode, I'm sure. But for now, you have a great day, and I hope you're enjoying the series.